this episode, we leave Vic River Roadhouse in the Northern Territory, cross the border into WA, resupply in Kununurra before visiting the stunning Lake Argyle. Well, g'day travellers and welcome back to another episode and one that has taken us nine days to get to the startup. We are super excited because we are just about to cross over the WA border. And uh, for the next few episodes, we will be showing you some of the best that the Kimberley region of WA has got to offer. So uh, you're not going to want to miss these ones. Hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell so you know when these episodes drop. But uh, this one has been a long time coming for us, so probably three years in the planning to get away and do this trip, accrue enough annual leave to do it, and now we're doing it. How good is that? So we're about to go through customs, I mean cross the border, into <laughs> WA, and uh, for the next couple of days we're going to be at the beautiful Lake Argyle. So strap on in, grab something cold and frothy, and uh, kick back and watch this one, it's going to be a cracker. <laughs> How are you mate? Yeah good. Alright that is it folks officially in WA <laughs> and uh, they were pretty cool at the checkpoint actually as yeah. much as I was giving them shit for being strict and, uh, and fair enough. Uh, they, were, they were pretty cool, no dramas. He uh, did co uh, contemplate confiscating our chocolate rolls for morning tea but <laughs> decided to let us have them. So, anyway that's it next stop now um, we've got to go and uh, do a bit of a shop for some fresh stuff in Kununurra because we had to uh, use that all up before we cross the border and uh, the irony of it is the uh, fresh stuff we buy in Kununurra, Kununurra uh, probably come from the other side of the border anyway but anyway that's where we're going and then uh, after that Lake Argyle which we are looking forward to and what I'm really looking forward to is unhitching the camper and not having to drive anywhere tomorrow. How good is that? <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in uh, by the Kununurra if there's something interesting or well, Lake Argyle. Well, folks, the excitement is all happening. Oh. Have they blocked the road here? We're trying to get through to Lake Argyle and there is a fire coming. And uh, looks like well, we've got flashing lights coming towards us, but uh, old mate the ranger did yeah, tell us to go through. We okay to get through to Lake Argyle Resort? Yeah, no worries. Um, the, the, the guy that pulled up and told us the road was closed at the other end, so yeah, I think so. I don't uh, know, there was another we were on our, We were on our way, he said keep going. Um, but yeah, he did say the road's closed back there, so. We were already on, yeah. <laughs> no worries. So just pull up behind the other ones. All right, no worries. Yep, cool, thank you. All right, there you go, guys. So uh, we're getting escorted uh, by the young lady. Feel, feeling sort of privileged now. So uh, that was so lucky. Um, had we left, I reckon, Kununurra 10 minutes later, don't know where we would have been camping tonight. Somewhere in Kununurra, I reckon. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get through all this uh, hoo-ha and then, uh, then someone's overtaken me. Good on.
is beer o'clock at the stunning Lake Argyle and uh, I am uh, really, really pleased to have uh, the Oztrack all set up and not having to go anywhere tomorrow. How good's that? Fantastic. So it's, uh, I don't know what time it is, but it's beer o'clock. It's always beer o'clock on our adventures. And no cereal for breakfast. And no cereal for breakfast. <laughs> even, uh, even dining out tonight, how good's that? At the resort. At the resort. Oh, very... I don't know. Resortish. Yeah, very resortish. And uh, we'll uh, we'll take you down a little bit later, or probably tomorrow morning. I'm going to go down and try and uh, catch a sunrise over Lake Argo. Probably got more chance of that than catching a barrow, but anyway. Have a swim in the famous infinity pool. Did stick my toe in, so it did a bit brisk. But I'll brave it for you guys. For you guys. So uh, we're just going to back to Savi and uh, not do too much and then uh, into the adventure tomorrow got uh, Sunset Cruise uh, yeah, a swim in Lake Argyle with the crocodiles <laughs> with a swim up bar complimentary beer and nibbles so it's all very swish before we uh, hit the dirt of the gibbs so uh, we're gonna have a shower because uh, feet are a bit <laughs> yeah there you go We'll get those all cleaned up and uh, we'll uh, catch you guys a little bit later on. Well, cheers, guys. We are just swanning it with the rich and famous here at the uh, Lake Argyle Resort um, Bar and I don't know what you call it, the place where you get the, the restaurant. That's it. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been in civilization. Daily waters don't count. So, kicking back, a couple of coldies, and uh, I've got some, uh, some barra coming just in case I don't catch any. And uh, Neen is, uh, what are you doing? Doing the pork belly. So we're uh, living it up like a couple of fat cats tonight. You swish, wonder what the rich people are doing. Now this is living, folks. I reckon. Morning guys, I'm up, it's about 20 past 5 in the morning and uh, saw a little bit on the dark side, it's very very windy but uh, I am here to try and show you a full day at Mount Argyle so I'm up to uh, check out what the sunrise looks like here and tonight we will, uh, we will finish up with a sunset cruise out on beautiful Lake Argyle, which is uh, down there behind me. Uh, you can see the infinity pool in the background. Absolutely spectacular, and uh, what an introduction to the Ghibli. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll hang around here and we'll uh, wait for the sun to rise and uh, see what a sunrise at Lake Argyle looks like. person here <laughs> to, to watch a new day start over Lake Argyle. There's not a soul to be seen. Amazing. It's uh, their loss, my gain.
kill before we head off to do the sunset tour out at Lake Argyle and uh, just a couple of k's down the road from the resort is the Lake Argyle Homestead Museum so uh, we'll go in and uh, find out a little bit of uh, history about this joint here. So the homestead that you see behind me was originally built by Passy Durack in 1894 for his family and it was part of the uh, Argyle Downs Station. Now Argyle Downs Station is currently under 21 metres of water in Lake Argyle and the homestead they pulled apart stone by stone and recreated it here about 17 k's away from its original location. The rest of the homestead buildings are currently all underwater and apparently uh, divers go down there and swim through the old station on a regular basis which I reckon would be pretty cool. But uh, So this was uh, rebuilt here in the early 70s. In 1971 Lake Argyle was flooded and in 1979 the homestead was opened as the museum that you see behind me. So it's uh, well worth coming out and having a bit of a look and having a bit of a read at the uh, the history and uh, and some of the feats that uh, these guys uh, did to open up uh, the the Kimberleys in the uh, in the late 1800s. So they actually drove their uh, cattle from uh, Queensland, the other side of Longreach, up here to the Kimberley. It took them two years, cost 70,000 pounds, which was a heck of a lot of coin back in those days. Um, and they lost half the mob, a lot of horses, and uh, quite a few men on the trek to get up here and open up the Kimberley. Well folks, I have been chasing this niggling knock in the back of Izzy uh, for about four or five days, I think. And uh, I was a bit concerned hitting the corrugations of the gib uh, if I'd broken something in the rear suspension, but it turns out uh, it's the, the rear airbag. So uh, we'll hop under and I'll show you what's going on. Here's the issue here, folks. The airbag, you see this brake line bracket right there is making contact on the airbag and it's actually pumped a hole in the side of the airbag. So that airbag is, uh, is absolutely shot. And I've been chasing this bloody this clanging in the back and what it is is it's this top plate up here banging around and making contact on that uh, that brake line bracket which is what the hell's happening camera there which is uh, not ideal so uh, unfortunately that airbag is kaput and we haven't even hit the dirt yet so um now, what that means is I'm going to have to let the air out of that one. Um, or most of the air out of that one, because we can't be running 30 PSI on one side and, and nothing on the other. Which is a bit of a bunger, because it means we're going to be a little bit undersprung, growing across the, uh, the corrugations with the weight of the trailer. But... At least I found what it is. I was worried it was a it was a shock or it was a, a one of the pins holding the loose springs or a U bolt or something. That's all good. Uh, it's uh, just the airbag. We're running 300 kilo springs in this, um, and they're going to have their work cut out for them with a full load in the canopy and uh, and a trailer on the back. But um, at least it's not anything that's uh, that's catastrophic. And we'll have to uh, when we get home get that rectified now I don't know if that's a, a fitment error um, it certainly shouldn't be that close to the airbag or able to uh, 
contact with that uh, that brake line bracket there. So anyway, we'll uh, get that. Warmest of days, but uh, I cannot come to Lake Argyle and not go for a swim in the infinity pool. So I am uh, braving it. I'm going to embrace the frigidity of the waters, and uh, I'm going to say that I have swum in the infinity pool.
take away your sorrow When the old ways get washed out by the rain Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night Cause I promise you this If you try to get some sleep If you give up the fight If only just Guys, just finished the sunset tour of Lake Argyle, and what do you reckon? Ah, oh, that was amazing. Everyone's got to do this. Amazing. What a spectacular part of Australia we are in, and uh, I reckon that will do it for us. We're going to wrap it up here, having a couple of drinks in the resort bar, waiting for our dinner. And um, you know the drill: if you like what we do, smash that subscribe button. You're going to want to because on our next episode, massive bucket list for me. We're going to be doing. The Karunti track from Wyndham down along the Pentecost River. And uh, fingers crossed, I'm going to have a crack at, at one of those Pentecost barrows. So until then, we'll see you on the next episode of We Went That Away Adventures. Cheers, guys. We did it, folks. The Karunti track done and dusted.